So in this video, I decided to go hunting for new trails in Canuck Chase. <laughs> Believe it or not, I've not actually been to Canic Chase, which is my local trail spot, for a good couple of years. And I kept on hearing about all these stories of these mega new trails that were just popping up everywhere. Literally, I've been hearing that the place is littered with loads of new, fresh, off-piece trails. So I thought, I've just got to go check it out. I'm already spotting like, quite a lot of little off piece bits, little sections going off. And I don't know whether the forestry here or the rangers here have just taken a different approach to the off-piece stuff and maybe embraced it a bit or whether it's just a case of they've not had time, budget or the funds or the resources to police it. Historically though, usually any sort of unofficial trail building or any unofficial routes were clamped down on. I suppose it's always been a case of how man-made you want to go if you start building big features big doubles big jumps boardwalks you know that sort of thing massive berms then they will get clamped down upon if you keep it natural you know and just have a little run through a bit of a roost then maybe that's okay first little climb on the monkey a little play with me shock then. I was riding Newbold Common yesterday, which is a lot smoother, a lot more bike parky. So I'd stiffened everything up. So I've had to come in down a couple of notches. Felt like I was getting a bit uncomfortable. It wasn't so noticeable. These bikes are so good and so planted these days. It wasn't so noticeable when the ride as much. I mean, you definitely notice when I changed it, but it's more noticeable when, uh, more noticeable when I'm in the saddle obviously wasn't quite as comfortable. So there's unofficial trails all over Canic Chase, but I decided to jump on the monkey trail and start on that side of the woods. I'm a little way into my ride and I've not come across any off-piece that really takes my fancy just yet. But I have come across a few reminders like this one that reminds me just how good the official trails at Cannock Chase really can be. Now, I know what some of you are thinking, it's not exactly super techie trails and mega gnarly stuff, but on a day like today, sun shining, flowy, single track, just chilling, this is what mountain bike's really about, isn't it? Yo, so I've just started the climb of Upper Cliff. You've got Upper Cliff and Lower Cliff on the Monkey Trail. I've just started that climb and I've spotted my first bit of what looks to be some interesting off-piece trails that can runs across the climb track. So I think if I climb to the top of here, swing a right, I might find the start of these. Might even see some more. So I'm up to the first fire road on that climb. Where the main trail goes that way, there's a little bit of a an opening here and that looks like the trail you might want to go down.
Well, uh, let's give it a go. A bit tighter. Blow me up. I put my seat down. Yes, I did. Oh, riding off piece blind. Oh, a bit of a tight one. Not been, not been very often. This isn't. Oy. This just looks like it's going down the other side of the hill. Oh, whoa! Oh, steep bit. Just made the turn. Oh. Oh, this is nice. Tight note. Not sure it's the one that I wanted, but I found one. This is one of the steep fire roads. Luckily I've got an e-bike, but I think I actually missed that there. Oh, there's a the track coming across there and down and across. That might be the one. So there might be another couple of trails here back up to the top i saw where the trail that i spotted on the first climb cut across but there was no other starting point i'm back to the starting point i was just then so there is a trail this side that goes left so i wonder if it cuts that way and then cuts across and i didn't see it cut across or it for this trail forks off at one point and goes to the right and i didn't spot that either that is looking like a pretty sick trail as well so i'm going to go down that one because I think it could cut and cut across maybe. Traverse across this on a bit of an off camber and then cut across there. Let's see. Let's go down this one. Ooh. Where does that go? It goes this way. This has not been ridden at all. Very easily. Whoa. I like, I love old fresh trails like this. I don't want to pin it because there's a couple of sections like last one that caught me out almost. Be uh, ace to learn these a little bit, wouldn't it? Then prune it. So it's definitely not goes the way I think it goes. As you can see, it cuts across there and down there. So definitely must join somewhere. Right then, I am determined to find this one that goes across there. I've been down twice, three times really, because of a bit of filming, but I'm gonna go find it now. Right, come on. Look, eyes right, I think, eyes right. Where is this trail? It goes somewhere. I went down here before. Ah, I went, yeah, I went, oh, yes, this must be it. Right, it literally was right. <laughs> right then. Ooh, that was a tight one. Take it easy, not been down before. Oh, yeah, that's a sexy section. Wee. This feels more positive. There we go, yeah. Yes. Ooh, narrow. That's been cut in. Across. <laughs> Tight bit, pedally bit. Ooh, bar to tree. Held on though. <laughs> that almost, how I held on to that, I don't know. Bit now. Ah, that was age. <laughs> very, very quickly, you'll find this really useful. I put all these videos into playlists. So ones like this one, which are about trails, I put into the trail guide playlist. So if you found this video because you were looking for somewhere to ride or you were looking to come and ride here, then go and check that playlist out because you might find there's similar spots and similar videos that will be really, really useful. I usually post a video every single Friday. So if you don't want to miss out, hit that subscribe button and give this video a like. Cheers. And that's uh, three of those trails done. There's actually another one behind me, it's four. But I think I might just go in a, carry on for a bit and check out some of the other trails and see if there's any other little bits we can find. Let's go down this one. <laughs> this is just picking after picking. 
There we go. It's that time of day. Oh, roots are loose. Put the shadows from the trees. But keep your head up. Look down the trail. Oh, that's lovely. Our fruits, rooty camber. Just trying to feather the back brake. Oh, got that bit wrong. that tree this way I keep going I'm getting tired now my road at the bottom of upper cliff then take us left instead of going straight on towards lower cliff this takes you back up to five ways and then you get all that off piste but it's on like blue spade it's referred to as blue spade Five Ways is just about there. I think this is the trail. This is the main trail. It's called Monkey's Uncle, I think this one is. Um, there's this little gap here. That's the main trail that way, little gap. If you head down here, and basically there's just trails left, right and centre. And they've been felling down here. I've been down here once when it's been felled. It's quite open, so let's go check those out. On this trail, I think it's about the same though. Yeah, it leads onto the same trail. Then I'm gonna go right this time when I get down here. If I remember it. Whoa. Go right. Instead of left like we did last time. This leads us. These gullies. This trail's become so worn. It's almost like I don't want to go in on it. Oh. Lots of that trail was completely blown out then. So, like just bits left, right, and centre. Riding them blind, obviously, you don't know which line choices to take. So I continued riding around the monkey trail and headed up to Lower Cliff to see what I could find there. So I'm just at the top of uh, Lower Cliff um, and the guys I've just been chatting to there, uh, the chap that runs the Facebook page Chase MTB, uh, he just pointed out there's a nice little off-piece trail at the back of here apparently, so I'm going to go check that out now. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Oh, slipped rope. Starting to get a bit late in the day now. Um, I've run out of water, I'm starting to run out of energy. Um, so I think we'll do a lower cliff, head back to the van, refill up and want some water, see if maybe I can have a bite to eat, and then head and do some stuff on the, the old dog, which is the original trail. I think there's a couple of 
new bits on that and a couple of off-piece bits as well so we'll go and check that out this is the, one of the best descents on the official trails oh. Once I completed that descent, I decided not to go back to the van and thought I'd continue on to the follow the dog and check out what's in store there. Just on this trail and follow the dog, it's uh, as you're going down the fire road, it's just before you cross the tarmac road, it's just on the right hand side. It is actually the original follow the dog. So if you remember the follow the dog when it was first built, um, it used to go down here and then they extended it across the road. So it looks like someone swept it, like, uh, you know, scraped it out again and uh, so I'll go and have a look, see what it's like. All right, a couple of little drops. Oh yeah, I remember that now. You start off, bing. Oh, it goes that way. Oh. It's nice. Oh, went straight left and right there by the looks of it. Oh, oh muddy bit. Bit of sloppy jalopy. Oh. oh, I tried to avoid that. Up and over. I forgot how it used to go, to be honest with you. Looks like we're going down here. Oh, it's a bit sloppy and mucky. Let's see if we. Oh, stalled. It starts to get late in the day, so I decide to call it and head back on the dog trail back to the van as I kind of reflect on the ride and stuff I kind of think you know it makes you realize you we have these trail centers they're often our locals we go there a lot or you've been there loads of times before and you think you kind of know the place but there's always stuff to explore there's always something different it's always changing and even when it's not the regular trails they can still be just as fun you know, we always go looking for the new stuff. We're looking for new trail centers, new bike parts, new features. And we sometimes forget that the stuff on our doorstep is still pretty ace. So if you like this video, right about now, there'll be a button on the screen you can click to watch another one. And also you can subscribe. Go on then, subscribe. <laughs>